going out tonight. Be on the lookout for anyone dumping tree and landscape debris along the side of the road. It's illegal and a growing problem in Pinellas County in particular. Peter Bernard is on the night beat for us in Clearwater right now. Hi there, Jen. This huge debris pile, take a look at it. It is enormous. It is set to be ground up and hauled off. Crews are working across the county to get Hurricane Irma debris out of here. But some are taking advantage of this mess to get rid of some of their own. It's starting to look pretty bad. Steps away from Daniel Vergara's home in Palm Harbor, you see piles of debris blown down by Irma stacked at the curb. But you also see lots of junk. There was a washing machine that somebody took. Um, there's an old broken down TV over there, mm -hmm. and it just doesn't look so good. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's, it's an eyesore. We found an old hose, furniture, a vacuum cleaner, and this old projection TV. Down the road, a mattress and a chair. Irma didn't blow this stuff around. More and more, the further we get we get into this, we're seeing couches, refrigerators that are obviously not storm-generated debris. If they're out there, we're not responsible to pick them up. And they're not supposed to have to pick up this stuff. Tree and landscape companies hired by homeowners are taking a shortcut. We found this giant stack of tree parts, limbs, and assorted debris along the Belcher Road right away. Leaving it here is a third-degree felony. In Westlake Village, we found storm debris like it's supposed to be, not mixed with leaves and garbage. When we start finding mixed debris or ineligible debris, it, it's, it's something that's very frustrating because it slows our whole operation down. More than 100 trucks are crisscrossing the county, picking up debris. Please be patient. Um, we're, we're, you know, working seven days a week, as are all the municipalities, and we're trying to get this debris cleared up. County crews have picked up that mess along Belcher Road on the right of way time and time again, but apparently contractors think it's a thinks it's a free for all, and they keep bringing stuff back and dumping that over and over again. Jen, Peter Bernard on the night before us tonight. Thank you, Peter.